Hey guys, this is Simeon here. Not every day is beautiful with sunshine. Today we are having rain, snow mixed rain, snow all together. Um, they said it would be snowing, but whenever, whenever the Alps get heavy rains or very often when they get heavy rains, a low pressure area comes from Italy with warm air and meets a high pressure cold front from the north. And I guess we were a little bit more on the warmer side. Didn't get that much precipitation, but you can see here behind me, the clouds are just moving through the valley. And I'm going to the stable now and the cows are really excited to get their evening meal. Um, and they're really excited that they get to go into into the dry stable. So I thought I would take you along. Let's go. Hey. Hello. You guys hungry? Ready for dinner? It's wet, huh? You don't like this. Well, you're from Scotland. You're supposed to like rain and cold. What is this, guys? What is this? A rake on the ground? Seriously? What's that supposed to be? So I'm inside the stable. I'm gonna turn on the lights. And I'm gonna try to find a spot where I can set up the camera. And I am going to show you how it is when the cows come in. So they're coming in through the store and every cow knows exactly where to go. It's a cow with a calf there with a white spot on their head. Six cows always go to the same spot right here. You have a mom with a calf there, four little calves there and the bull right here. It's the same every time. So hope that I can get a wide enough angle here. So of course, the time I want to show you guys, these guys all go where they're supposed to, but <laughs> five calves squeezed in there. I guess she doesn't want to hang out with mommy, wants to be with the teenagers. I get that. So I'm gonna close you guys up. <laughs> Normally it's just four in here, but I think it kind of missed the turn. The bull, hey Sep. Yeah. You're gonna be okay, mommy? Without your calf? She's right over here, just so you know. Okay? You have a lot of extra food now. So, these are the six cows. And you can tell Highland cattle have a very strong hierarchy. They're pushing each other a little bit. Let me show you guys how I tie them up. Hey, 
are a little bully, aren't you? You are a little bully. Just push the other one away. That's not nice. You're nice. You let her eat. So this car right here, when I first got here, she was not sure of me and she hit me a couple times and kicked me too. And so every time I come to tie her up, I'm actually giving her some bread first. So this is the procedure twice a day, start at 6 in the morning, now to, at 3.30 in the afternoon, time up, two and a half hours each. This is what the owner of the farm uh, does, he likes that, he tried feeding them outside and a lot of feed got wasted, I'm sure there are solutions anyway, that's what he does and I'm not gonna switch things around now easily. So. Um, doing what the cows are used to. And it's quite phenomenal. Um, I don't know how many of you guys know Highland cattle that are this tame and that, um, yeah, let you go there and tie them up and all that. It's just, it's quite amazing. That's something of value. That's something of value. And because they're just in you for two and a half hours about, they're not pooping that much. So it's about a wheelbarrow load full of poop that I'm driving out in the morning and then in the evening again. So um, that's precious, precious stuff. So in two and a half hours when it's all dark, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to um, let the cows out, clean the stable, and I'm going to put new straw in. And from here, way up there, can't see anything right now. The hay comes from two stories above falls on the ground here and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prepare the stable for the morning so I just have to let them in early in the morning. That's it, let's turn the lights off and come back here later. Enjoy your meal guys. So you can see down in the valley today, we uh, it did the snow and then right there is the snow line and the top got powdered and some snow from before then. Um, it's just a very, very mild winter and we were right on the border. We got some snow, some rain, some snow mixed rain. So I hope I won't forget to take the camera down this evening. It's gonna be all dark. I'm gonna take the big camera. Just filming on my phone right now. Our big camera fell and the audio input is broken. So sometimes the sound is way messed up. But if I wanna get any kind of footage, I'll have to use that camera tonight. Hope it'll work. I wanna show you guys the whole routine. <sighs> anyway, guys, how many of you love farming? How many of you would love to make a living farming? My wife and I, we've never owned land. It is a big dream of ours. And we hope that we can fulfill this dream once we move to the States. But we have been farming since 2011. I was trained as a farmer in 2003 already, but because I only knew industrial agriculture, I didn't actively work as a farmer myself till 2011. And um, we have now the goal to, to farm, to direct market, and also to, to share our experience, to train and mentor people, um, to share holistic management, which I'm an accredited professional with, with the Savory Institute. Um, we do farm planning. We've been doing this in Austria here for the last years already. And right now we are farm sitting while we wait for my visa to process. But 
just want to encourage you guys if you have that dream if you want to farm there are many different ways to do it there are many different ways to work towards someday owning your own farm and in my experience and i just want to encourage you in this holistic management is really the one most important aspect in that um, humanly seen because it really it really helps you to get there with without the lengthy detours and all of that you create something that's called the holistic context not a context everybody has a context everybody does but a holistic context is something that you consciously um, create in holistic management and you pin down um, what is what you value the most and then you make sure that all the decisions you take are in line with that look if that's faith that's part of that if that's to own land, then you can work towards that. If it's making a living as a farmer, if it's growing your own food, you put that in there. It's tailored to, towards you, yourself, and it's extremely important. And that's one of my big passions is to communicate that to people and help people with that. That's why I um, went through the Holistic Management Association program. And um, can't wait to share more of this, but let's, Wait a few minutes now and then get the cows out of the stable. So everybody, this is again now with my uh, good camera. Um, I hope the audio will work and stay functioning somewhat during this process. Just got ready, 6 p.m. We're gonna head down to the stable and get the cows out, see if they had a good dinner. You guys are coming too? Yes. Let's go. Well, you have, you're not ready yet. What's yeah, up? I need help over my piece. Mom. Need help? It's going to be enough. Where's your beanie? I could use that because my beanie is So, he gets it from my own back. Okay, let's go, guys. No, let's just walk together here on the road. Okay. Turn off. The, turn on the light. Other one. There you go. Hello, ladies. Everybody. Everybody full here, or what's going on? Huh? Did you eat well? Oh, you're taking a bath. I know, a bath. Uh, yes, Henry, you can start sweeping. They are ready to leave the stable. No, so they got the new bedding here. This is this is chopped up straw. Sucks up moisture a lot better when it's like that. How about you? 
Yeah, we had five calves in there tonight. So the one didn't go with its mom, so it's very wet there. You can spread the whole thing in there, mister. Over there too. Can I just go like this? Yeah, you see where it's moist. Yeah, that's good. That's so. Uh, film you? Oh yeah. Here you go. You get your screen time. You're doing a very good job, Danny. Thank you for your help today. The kids don't always head out with me to help me, but when they do, they cut my chore time in half. They help me so much. Henry's right now cleaning all the waters. Danny's sweeping, he's like spreading the hay. Fair enough. I will move it now. Even though I wouldn't do it like this, and I will definitely have a stable where they can walk and with deep bedding so I can really capture all the valuable manure and urine and then make compost out of it. There's just something very special about an old stable, hundreds of years old like this. Um, the boards and the coziness when you come in here. I mean, this is how people have done it traditionally here for a very, very long time. In some places in the Alps, um, people have been farming for thousands of years. And <laughs> don't do that. And um, it's just so cozy when the cattle is in here, when they're, when they're in here. And um, you know, if you had dairy cows, you could just uh, milk them here morning and evening. And it's just something really nice about it. So I'm quite enjoying this. My job here is not to, to, to change things up and plan everything, but the farm said, but I'm really enjoying this um, time here right now on the farm. So that's it already, guys. We prepared the stable, it's all ready for the morning. I get up at six, or I'm out here at the stable at six, and uh, just let the cows in again. This is my routine. Thank you guys for helping me. Yeah. How do you like being here on the farm? Good. Good. I like it. Cool. Like it? So, Isaac, you have morning chores every day as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do? Feed the fish. You feed the fish. Are we done? Um, we oh. should make a video about that too. Okay. Are we done? We are done, little mister. We're done. Let's go home to Mama and Ellie. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit of a longer video, but I wanted to share this with you. It's really fun, twice a day, um, we get to do this. Thank you for watching, check us out on Rumble. We are on Rumble now too, same content, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. See you, bye bye.